going on YouTube? This is Lucas here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my studio. This video is going to be super quick. I realize I've been leaving out Get Good Drums in a lot of my videos because uh, I've just been making a lot on Superior Drummer. But um, I just have a quick tip for you for setting it up with Ableton Live. So I am going to literally post this MIDI effect preset on my website. You can just go download it for free if you're too lazy to set it up. If you're interested in setting it up, it's uh, not that fun, but at least you'll know how to do that for anything that you might need it for in the future. Um, so this is our contact. So obviously I loaded up contact. Um, we're using One Kit Wonder Modern Fusion, and I have the Clean Fusion preset loaded up. And then if you go to your settings here, we need to go to settings and then do preset GM. I decided to use that one. I'm not 100% sure why. It just seemed like it made sense. I liked the mapping. But um, you could create your own preset and do this from scratch. and that would make sense too. But this one was good enough for me. And all of you guys have it. So it made it easier for me to share it. So that's all you need to do in contact. And then once you've loaded contact, you're going to grab the um, mappings, uh, Ableton drum group, and just drag it in front. But um, I'm just going to show you real quick how to set this up anyway. So what this is, is actually a MIDI effect rack. So you would find this in MIDI effects and MIDI effect rack right here. So you can just grab this. Um, we don't need to, so I'm going to get rid of it. But when you have a MIDI effect rack, what it lets you do is it lets you create these chains. So basically what happens is where the end goal is we're trying to label everything here so you can see your kick all this stuff, it's really helpful to see it on the MIDI roll so you can program your beats a little bit easily. So that's the whole point of this tip is that it'll just help you program beats a little bit faster in Ableton because you can read what's there. So what you have to do is you have to right click and create chains. And I just created a bunch of them, um, just enough to fit every single specific hit in contact uh, for the GGD drum um, pack. So I was literally, I had this open for a while and was looking at every single hit and articulation and essentially just copied that over into this manually into the MIDI effect racks. As you can see, we have kick, side stick, snare, low tom. It's all pretty organized here. So it's pretty sweet. And then if you hit this key button, what you have to do is you have to drag these sliders to essentially map them to the specific keys that's supposed to happen. So that's where it got like a little bit confusing and tedious because some of these are mapped in a particular way. So it feels decent on the keyboard, but it's not exactly like set up super logically when you look at it on a list, hence why it looks like this. Um, so anyway, I did it for you. If you don't want to do it, it's no worries. It's kind of tedious, but that's one cool use of the MIDI effect rack. And I have another video about doing this for Superior Drummer, if you're curious. So I just didn't want to leave out GGD. It's really good and it's a really popular pack, especially if you're just trying to like write music um, with minimal stuff open and mixing and all those bells and whistles. So this is a must have if you're using Ableton and trying to produce rock, metal, whatever it is, or uh, fusion, uh, jazz fusion, or prog music with the GGD kit. So I hope that's helpful. Check out my site to download it for free. Um, you just have to log in or whatever, but it doesn't cost anything. I'm not going to send you emails about anything because um, it's annoying. And let me know how you guys get along with this uh, preset and let me know if this is helpful or not so I can make other videos that are more useful. So take it easy, y'all.